Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to fine tune Azure AI Foundry foundation model uh, with using Azure AI portal. So here we're going to create an example Azure AI Foundry services. Within that services, we're going to customize or basically fine tune uh, a foundation model from Azure uh, with using our own custom data. So here, you know, Azure gives foundation models from respective vendors like OpenAI, uh, Mistral AI, so there are a lot of other foundation models have been provided by different different vendors where in Azure AI Foundry services. Now, you know, when that foundation model has been given, so that is at uh, basically at a standard level. Now, we want to customize it or basically slightly fine tune with using our own, um, you know, training data so that the foundation model responds it according to our requirements. So in that case, that is where fine tuning of Azure AI Foundry model task comes in the picture. So here, I'm going to show you how to fine tune an example open AI foundation model in the Azure AI portal and then we're going to deploy that um, fine tuned model in the uh, Azure AI foundry then we try to use that uh, foundation model over the prompt and see that you know how does basically uh, you know differentiates the the responses basically right so here this session will be purely hands-on experiencing one let's try to see you know how we will do this particular lab session here. So this is my Azure subscription. So where I have uh, this RG, I created an Azure AI Foundry services. So I'm going to open that Azure AI Foundry services. And here, you know, we're going to click on that Azure AI, um, uh, you know, workspace. So this is our Azure AI Foundry workspace. So here, uh, you know, I'm going to show you like, you know, how I have fine-tuned an example foundation model. The foundation model which is can be fine tuned okay that only we can fine tune it here so here um, you know we have the model catalogs that is present here as you see right uh, in the build and customization so there are there is an option called fine tuning right? so fine tuning is nothing but this is an option uh, that basically helps you to fine tune the existing foundation models um, so actually a foundry provides a huge vast number of foundation models but all of them are not suitable are basically not allowed to be fine-tuned so there are only few um, uh, you know the foundation models are there that can be fine-tuned so here i have already did a chat gpt basically i have already uh, fine-tuned gpt 4.1 foundation model with using my own custom data so you know let's see you know how does basically uh, you know we how we can do that so before I, I i show you that you know i'm going to show you that you know, i have already deployed one um, you know foundation model so you see that so this is the foundation model this is basically direct foundation model in the sense you know this is not being customized with using uh, our own data right so this is very plain um, you know the plain deployment in the sense um, i have used the foundation model called gpt4.1 and deployed it directly so it is not being customized so um, the, we have the another fine tune. So basically, here is a two variant. One is the plain deployment. The other one is the, uh, you know, the other one is the fine tuned one. So first one, let's play with the plain one. Okay. So let me. Um, so this is my plain deployment. I will just tell you know basically I give him uh, instruction saying like you are an assistant that helps to find the information. Okay. So let me call it as you know, um, just say hi. Let's see what is the response. Okay. So it says hello how can i help you today so basically this is getting a response okay now what is that i'm going to do is you know i'm going to basically train this model to basically convert my voice into a certain language so here to fine tune this particular model i have a training data so to train the data you, we need to have a file called json json.l or basically json.l you see that so this is the format of the uh, of the training data so this is very simple format and very and small piece of data that we're going to use in this uh, session to train our models so how to train that so basically i'm going to share this train.json l uh, file in my video description you can use it and try to learn it basically so here if you see this training information so what is it contains is it contains the uh, basically uh, it contains the training data in the form of a dictionary in a json so this is a json format right so here what happens is uh, if you see here so if you follow the first line so it, it is basically a dictionary in python terminology right so it has the message as the key and then contains a list so here is the role equal to system 
and content is basically you are a translation assistant with nothing but you know which will translate to french and to keep it uh, casual and no extra punctuation and also basically it converts english to uh, uh, french basically and uh, to help with that you know what we are doing is we are training our model by using this method so in the sense here is the user user says content equal to hello the assistant has to convert into salute which is basically a french word in uh, french word which means hello so likewise goodbye so goodbye means a plus so basically it's converting into a french language okay so likewise there are very generic uh, you know the words or sentence and the respective conversions are being kept in this training data so this is my training data okay now we're going to use this training data and try uh, try to train our gpt 4.1 model okay now before i do that you know let me try to ask this question so, okay so let's try to uh, assess the default the default foundation model that is uh, gpt 4.1 without training so what i do is can you convert it to french so let me try to it may do it because it's it's already well trained so let's say that you know it will try to convert into uh, you know goodbye so basically french is our reviver so basically it's able to uh, you know convert so it's basically it's writing uh, you know into the something else right um here our response is we expected the content equal to uh, you know a plus but it has given something else okay so this is basically prior to the uh, you know before i train the model okay so let's try to fine tune it okay right now this is our default deployment let me go to the fine tune so to fine tune the model you have to come to option called customize and build and customize so if you see in this azure i found the workspaces in the left hand side right and click on a build and customize you click on a fine tune so this is where it will take you i have already fine tuned one model because fine tuning takes a lot of time it takes more than one hour but i'm going to show you the approach that you have to carry out to fine tune it okay to fine tune it click on a fine tune basically there's a button called fine tune foundation model here so click on a fine tune and then here is the uh, customization method so here i'm going to choose the supervised customization method and in this one you know i have chosen this one that is gpt4 because you see that if i choose another model maybe that foundation model is not available in my um you know that foundation model is may not be available uh in my region so my region of uh, deployment is basically east us okay so some of the foundation models are not available in in the region that we have deployed so while gpt4.1 is available so you're gonna go next right and uh, here is a pop-up comes in so method should be supervised base model let it be like gpt4.1 and hyphen the version so in the training type you know let it be a uh, global preview okay and then in the automatic deploy when the fine tuning so let it be no because i'm going to show you how to deploy it and then the training data so click on add training data here is the options where you can put in the training information so, so there are a lot of training options are available here for now we're gonna go with the upload file which is nothing but upload from local laptops and this is where i have the train.json l file which i showed you just now and that's it so once this has been done you know um the if the format of the uh, training data is in as expected uh, format remember that the format is like this okay uh, for your learning purpose for now so click on apply so what happens is you now it will try to uh, basically um, you know it will start the training of the of the model and it takes nearby one hour okay so when you try to train it you can check the uh, status of your job by by running this particular script so i have run the script called so basically list the fine tune job so this is one python script by the way i'm going to share this as well in the video description you can find it so what happens is here we are conduct you know we are creating a client of uh, python sdk uh, with using the you know, open AI python model by using this my api key uh, versions and the endpoints so versions and keys and endpoints you can find it from here if you go to the ou so here is your api key and your open ai uh, you know endpoint right and then of course this is the api version so you use it and uh, using the client you just call in these uh, code it will try to show you this one so what i'm showing you here is you know the training process or basically fine tuning process of the foundation model is time consuming it takes time so when it is running so it will show in a running and likewise the status keeps changing that is something i want to touch base here right 
so once you once the fine tuning is been done you should be see your uh, foundation model uh, status should be something like a successful in the sense that you know we have trained our foundation model uh, or basically we fine tuned our uh, the gpt1 dot foundation model with our own custom data now right uh, and here is the you can also download the result and uh, training files can also be observed you go to the metrics you know here is the nice uh, overview of what happened uh, you know something like if you see here so there are fine tuned metrics like how much loss happened in the training token accuracy so everything will be shown in this uh, metrics and if you go to the logs you know so logs will be shown in the sense if you see here my completion of training you know happened at 8 pm right so if i go down so these are all my logs logs basically and all logs are captured here so if i circle down you see that i have initiated the job at 6 23 pm and it has ended in the sense it took almost one and a half an hour to complete the training right so that much hour i cannot wait because i'm recording the video for learning only so here is the time that you know it has it will take generally so basically it takes more than 1.5 uh, or basically one, one and a half an hour will be taken by uh, by this particular process to to train it and you can also check the checkpoint so checkpoint is nothing but you know, these are the the last three versions of the training will be available here right so while the latest uh, training link will be available here only so if i go back to the train training so this is the whatever the fine-tuned model that you see with the status equal to complete this is the latest model this is the latest version right now how to use this foundation model right so we need to deploy this to deploy this you can click on uh, use this uh, foundation model give it a name so here let me call it as a fine-tuned model okay then we're going to deploy this and try to see the response now so earlier when i directly contacted that model so that has shown something different right so let me call it as a tuned one so this is a tuned foundation model. Uh, let the data plan type will be global standard. Everything is let it be default. So we're gonna deploy this uh, fine-tuned foundation model where it will be available in our deployment. So if I go to the models and endpoints and refresh it, you see that. So this is the, uh, you know, the currently the status is creating. So creation of um, of the particular deployment will take certain time. So we're gonna go on a pause and come back for that. But just to show you the difference, right? So this is the foundation model that is deployed as it is. This is a foundation model which is fine-tuned, right? That's the reason version is shows it's one. So basically, you know, the fine-tuning, you know, this is like a continuous process. You keep training, keep training, keep using like that, right? So right now we are deploying that fine-tuned model, uh, which is in a, um, you know, creating state. And we're gonna see the difference, okay? So we're gonna see these difference, even though the data of training is very, very less, and the, the impact of this training is expected to be very light or negligible. But at enterprise level, this is how the process you have to carry out to train or basically fine tune the foundation model that is available in the Azure AI Foundry. So here I'm gonna go on a pause and come back once the status of this deployment or my fine tune model deployment um, gets completed. So after waiting for more than five minutes, the deployment got completed you see that the fine-tuned model is uh, succeeded and the default gpt uh, 4.1 model is also succeeded uh, you see the model version so one is one because this is our fine-tuned model uh, this is the model version given from microsoft that is gpt all right now i'm going to show you the difference and then we're going to conclude the, the lab lab session here so let's open that uh, so i'm opening the the foundation model that is uh, fine-tuned one in one side and then we are also opening the another one that is basically uh, the non-fine-tuned foundation model um, in the another tab so okay so i'm very gonna try to experiment those okay so here the first tab is pointing to default foundation model all right um, and then the other side is basically um, fine-tuned foundation model okay all right, so what we do is basically we're going to ask the same question that we asked in the in the training all right so in the training right so our training data is contains on converting english into a french language okay so remember that french language also carries the the you know alphabets like a b c d like english only but 
they have a different uh, script you know different arrangement of the the alphabet so okay so let's see that though if i say i am hungry in english so it has to convert it to this format let's see which one does the job okay so this is basically uh, you know non fine so the first tab is belongs to non fine tuned base foundation model so i will call him uh, i will just ask him like hi and here also that is the other side which is fine tuned one right so if you see the word here tuned which means it is fine tuned so don't get confused i'm trying my best to bring the difference here so both should be telling me the same like hello okay so here let's call um, can you uh, convert um, this to french who to whom i'm asking i'm asking to the default foundation model right let's see if it can convert so you see that it is converting that is i'm hungry to french like jcc fame okay something like this okay that is j form so basically it has the foundation model that is uh, base person is also doing the job but let's see you now how does the 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 tune model also helps us to do that right um so let me say like this one and this is basically tuned model or fine tuned model okay the french is you know you see that it is converting it is giving the confidence one you see that so the confidence is very high um you know you can also speak the response basically uh, so that is uh, yeah i'm not going to show that so basically here is the bold one that is j fame so but here is the response is less confident one, right so is that however the correct and more natural way to say is something it's giving the response but here since we have trained this uh, foundation model um uh, you know with using uh, so with using our own uh, custom data so that's the reason the response is very accurate and it is giving in a bold data okay so this is basically how the training or basically fine tuning the foundation model gives a customized response uh, you know belongs to a respect to enterprise in the sense uh, you have an x enterprise and that has a x set of data for training or fine tuning you do that fine tuning of foundation model and then deploy that foundation model for your enterprise consumption so you can expect the foundation model to be performing according to your enterprise needs okay so that is what this video you know i have helped you to show here so finally uh, before i conclude thank you very much for watching my videos kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video